Hi, I'm Mr Park and this is question A on the OCR Core 2 paper from January 2010. In part A we need to use logarithms to solve the equation 7 to the power w minus 3 minus 4 equals 180, giving your answer correct to three significant figures. And in part B we need to solve the simultaneous equations log base 10 of x plus log base 10 of y equals log base 10 of 3 and log base 10 of 3x plus y equals 1. So in part A we need to solve this equation to three significant figures. We'll start by adding 4 to both sides so we get 7 to the power w minus 3 equals 184. Next we're going to take log of both sides so we get log of 7 to the power w minus 3 equals log 184. I've not specified a base here, the main reason is that it doesn't actually matter for this question what the base is, but you can assume when there's no base given that you're working to base 10. So next I'm going to use one of the log laws in order to rewrite the left hand side here. So looking at the power law here, it says log of x to the power y equals y log x. So what we're going to do is bring this power down, so we'll get w minus 3 log 7. It's really important here that this w minus 3 is in a bracket because we're multiplying the whole thing by w minus 3. On the right we've still got log 184. Next we'll divide both sides by log 7. That leaves us with w minus 3 on this side equals log 184 over log 7. Finally, I'll add 3 to both sides to get w equals log 184 over log 7 plus 3. I can now put this into my calculator. And I get 5.68 to 3 significant figures. At this point, I want to show you that it doesn't actually matter what base I'd chosen for my logs here. Because I said earlier, I didn't specify base because it didn't matter. So let's imagine we were doing a different base. Let's do it with log base 2. As you can see, I get the exact same answer, whatever base I use. In part B, I need to solve the simultaneous equations given here. As you probably know, there are several ways of solving simultaneous equations. The way I'm going to use is substituting one of them into the other. So I'll start by using my log laws to combine these two logs here. If I've got log x plus log y, the addition rule says that I can rewrite that as log xy. So that's what I'm going to do on the left hand side here. The right hand side will leave as log 3. And if log base 10xy equals log base 10 of 3, that must mean that xy equals 3. Dividing through by x gives us y equals 3 over x. From here, I can now substitute this into the second equation here. So we'll get log base 10 of 3x plus 3 over x because we're substituting in the 3 over x here. And from this point, we're going to use another log law. This time, we're going to rewrite the log as the equivalent exponential form over here. If I've got log base a of x, and that equals y, I can rewrite that as a to the power y equals x. Notice here that the base for the log is the same as the base in the exponential over here. So in ours, our new base will become 10, so we can say 10 to the power of 1 equals this bracket here. So 3x plus 3 over x equals 10 to the power of 1, which is just 10. From here we've just got a basic equation to solve. I'm going to start by multiplying everything by x. That gives me 3x squared plus 3 on this side and 10x on the other side. Subtracting 10x from both sides gives me 3x squared minus 10x plus 3 equals 0. Now I've got to go ahead and solve this. But the first thing I'm going to do is check the discriminant. So I'm going to do b squared minus 4ac. b is minus 10, so I've got minus 10 squared. Then I'm going to subtract 4 times 3 times 3. And if I do that, I get 64. Because 64 is a square number, that tells me this quadratic will probably factorise quite nicely. To factorise this quadratic, we'll start by writing down our values for a, b and c. And I'm going to use a version of the ac method in order to factorise this quadratic. So a multiplied by c gives me 9. So I'm going to look for two numbers that multiply to make 9, and they're also going to add to make b, which is negative 10. Well, in order to get two numbers that multiply to give a positive number and add together to give a negative number, they've both got to be negative, and they're going to be negative 1 and negative 9. I'm going to start by putting 3x in both brackets, and the other terms will be minus 1 and minus 9. Next, I'm going to look if I can cancel down any of these brackets. This one has no common factors, so we'll leave that as 3x minus 1. 
but this one has a common factor of 3, so I can divide by 3 and get x minus 3. Try not to include this in the main body of your working out, because strictly speaking, this line here isn't mathematically consistent, because if I expanded these brackets out, I'd get 9x squared instead of 3x squared. So back in my main body of working out, I'm going to get 3x minus 1 and x minus 3 equals 0. Let's take the first case when 3x minus 1 equals 0. Add 1 to both sides, divide by 3, and you get x is a third. For the second bracket, we've got x minus 3 equals 0, which means x is going to be 3. Now I could substitute x as a third into any of these equations up here and then rearrange to find y. But there's a much simpler way. If I go back to the previous part, I found that y equals 3 over x, and that's the part I'm going to use here. So when x is a third, I can say that y equals 3 divided by a third. 3 divided by a third gives 9. So that gives my first solution, which is 1 third and 9. For the other solution, when x equals 3, I get y equals 3 over 3, which is 1. So when x is 3, y is 1.